of the Lord. I I want to appreciate everyone this morning and I welcome you to Elightens program. Elightens a broadcast. I appreciate God on your behalf and I celebrate you. I want to let you know this morning that there's something very spectacular about you. I just want to share on the topic that says the best for the last. I see God giving you the best for the last this morning. I see God giving you the best for the last this month. I see God giving you the best for the last, for the remaining days and the remaining months of the year. Before this year will come to a close, something spectacular will happen in your life in the name of Jesus. I have come to encourage you not to lose hope. God will always come at the time you had lost hope. God will always show up at the time you are weak. God will always show up at the time you are frustrated. God will always show up at the time you had given up. Praise the name of the Lord. Remember in the book of 2 John chapter number 2, the Bible says Jesus was invited to a wedding. The disciples had gathered. Jesus' mother was also there. And it came to a point that the wine got finished. I don't know the area of your life that seems to be down. I don't know what you have been expecting that had not yet come. I want to let you and assure you that God is about to give you the best for the last. In the name of Jesus, he will refill every empty gap, every empty space in your life. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says, when the wine got finished, yes, the, 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 the occasion became frustrated. The occasion became empty. There was no more joy. Why represent happiness, joy, and merriment? But as at that time, the celebrant was a little bit frustrated. And Jesus' mother, knowing what his son can do, he never went to him as a son. He went to him as a servant of the Most High God. He invited him into that problem. He said, Master, he did not call him son. He said, Master, they have no wine. And the master asked him, what has that got to do with me? He said, go tell the chief celebrant, let him fill the verses with water. Hallelujah. That was the first miracle that Christ performed. And they began to fill the verses with water. Hallelujah. And the Bible made us to understand that he asked the, the chief celebrant to go. He said, fetch from it and test. When he fetched and brought out the wine, uh, the water, the water was no longer the water they expected. The water turned to wine. Hallelujah. That problem in your life, there is a solution. And the solution is in Christ. And I see God letting you know, hearing God clearly this morning, that when you go back to the doctor, that problem is no longer there. When you get back to the hospital, that problem is no longer there. Who told you you are barren? You are not a barren woman. The Bible says there shall be no barren in the land. Hallelujah. Sarah, the Bible says Sarah received strength and he conceived even at old age. I, I see God giving you an extravagant strength this morning to conceive even at your old age, to conceive even at the time you least expected. From today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, whatever that have stood before you, whatever that have stood as a barrier, whatever that have stood as an obstacle, whatever that has haunted your life, we command that yoke to be broken in the name of Jesus. And we command strength and grace that let there be a renewal of strength upon your life that you conceive, begin to do exploits in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you this morning. You are welcome once again to Enlightened uh, uh, TV program this morning. My name is Pastor Mary Favor. God bless you. Cheers. Hallelujah.